can only use the gun you get for completing my first gun. Well, Jack Human, I think I will do that. Borderlands, but you can only use white rarity items. Alright, just to chill, I'll add that one on too. I'm surprised no one else thought of this. Use only one rarity of Starting item pistol okay, only. Okay, this one's gonna be tough. Borderlands Basically, 2, you white only. White rarity items. Only. White rarity items. Beat the game can with only use white normal rarity only. Only. Try beating can only use white rarity, rarity items. Use common white, white rarity only. Characters. White Star rarity only. Use Borderlands only. White rarity only. only. Borderlands 2, but no elemental weapons and no grenades. Yeah, fuck it. Let's throw that in there. Okay, so a little bit of me being an illiterate idiot, I definitely read this as no elemental weapons or grenades. As in, I can use grenades, but they can't be elemental. So, I definitely used grenades. My bad, Dylan. Alright, well it looks like today I'm doing Borderlands 2 White Zone Nope, nope, can't call it that. Uh, common rarity items only. The only gun I can use is the starting pistol, and I can't deal elemental damage. And I'm not counting explosives as an element. If you wanted this challenge to have the starting pistol be the only way it can damage enemies, don't worry, I'll do that challenge as well. I started my adventure by picking Gage. Anarchy is going to be completely useless. Even if I'm running around with 400 stacks the entire time, it'd be like upgrading from a toothpick to a sword, but I'm fighting a tank. It doesn't matter how stabby my stabber is, this pistol does 11 damage. No, there's a different reason I chose Gage, but I'll get back to that. I picked up my first and only gun from Claptrap and went on a surprisingly successful killing spree. This is the first and last time this gun is a viable option. This is the calm before the dumpster fire. I cleared out Liarsburg and fought Boom Boom. This fight would probably be a lot easier if I had a rampaging murderous robot with me, so I'm gonna go do some side quests to find one. Foolish old man looks far more badass. With Death Trap doing all the work, I killed Boom Boom. And then I farmed them for XP, killing them and respawning them over and over again until all they know is the sound of gunfire, unable to escape the cycle of death and rebirth, knowing that every time they open their eyes, I'll be there to- Ah, you had to do it to me, didn't you? You threw a legendary at my feet just to taunt me. Well, now that I'm level 11, I think it's time for me to show you why I picked Gage. All I have to do is take off my shield, send out Death Trap. Alright, he's trying to refill my non-existent shield because he's stupid. And now I fast travel. Well, now Death Trap is constantly refilling my shield. Even when he's not there. Forever. Thank you, Andrew Bartlesby, for telling me about this glitch. Somehow I never knew about it before. You are a lifesaver. Anyway, now that I'm immortal, I demolished Flint, stole the Bloodshot's lunch money, shit in Wilhelm's bed, gave this Thresher a spanking, genocided Overlook, pulled a classic Ted on Bloodwing, killed at the real Handsome Jack an opportunity, and when I say I did this, Death Trap did it. It was all Death Trap. I have a fucking BB gun. Time to fight the bunker. Now a little past the halfway point of the run. It's been, shockingly, extremely easy so far. So it's safe to say it's gonna be just as easy for the rest of the game. And that's why there's still five minutes left in the video. Well, it looks like I'm not immortal anymore. The pistol is a mild annoyance to the enemies at this point, so the only way I can really kill them is with Death Trap. Alright, Death Trap, kill! Hey, he's dead. It probably doesn't help that I'm five levels underleveled, but farming for XP at this point is... Well, I die of old age before I got to level 25, and I'm immortal! 
Luckily, Marcus has a mission for me, and I already have the script ready. Yeah, I'm level 25 now. I cleared out all the robots, but this constructor kills me in one shot. But he can't hit me from behind this pillar. I killed the constructor and moved on to the big boy constructor. The menace that haunts my nightmares. The schmuck that can't hit me from behind. I killed the badass constructor. Jack sent the bunker to kill me. Well, surely there's no way I can just stand in one place and send out Death Trap over and over again, slowly chipping away at the bunker's health until I inevitably kill what was supposed to be Jack's ultimate defense while eating a bag of popcorn and enjoying the show. Obviously not. I had to slap it four or five times. Jack built the bunker because he wasn't going to protect Angel with just some bots and some flimsy turrets. So with it dead, I made my way into the control core where Jack tried to protect Angel with a couple of bots and some flimsy turrets. Yeah, she died. With Angel a little dead, Roland a lot dead, and Lilith very kidnapped, the only thing standing between me and the vault is... Nothing. Nothing happens between the bunker and the vault. So I made it through Heroes Pass, and my recording cut out just as I made it to the vault. And when I minimized the game to check on it, Borderlands crashed. So I made it through Heroes Pass again! Jack desperately tried to unalive me, but he couldn't get past my pesky little immortality. The warrior was released, and believe it or not, he does a little more damage than Jack. Death Trap is getting distracted by everything that crosses his path, and I'm out here alone fighting an ancient alien god with a nerf gun. But I found out that while my shield is little more than a wet paper towel to the warrior, it keeps me completely safe from the lava. So once again, just like every other major fight in the game, I can just hide. Okay, or not. Well, now I'm too high level to farm Marcus's mission, but there's one farming location I know that scales to my level. How do you prepare to fight an ancient alien god? Obviously, by fighting bugs. I leveled up once, got bored, found a better shield which had double the capacity of my old one, and fought the warrior again. Turns out I didn't really need to level up, I just needed a new shield. And that's how you beat Borderlands 2 with only common items and only the starting pistol. Tune in next time when I beat the game by only hip firing with snipers. If you can kill one of Jack's body doubles in opportunity, I can get you through that door. This is not pleasant. Patron shoutouts. Special thanks to Tiger, who once hired two assassins to kill each other just to see what would happen. They ended up falling in love. I think they made a movie about it. If you want to vote on what challenge I do next, the link to my Patreon is in the description.